Kubernetes and CKAD tips number 31. In this, we'll see when we create pod, can we define the limits up to which they will use the memory and CPU. So let's see that in the command prompt through kubectl. So let me share my desktop and let me show you the options available. So if we consider kubectl run, and we can create a pod and then just see the help option for that. You will see that there are a couple of things which is available over here. One of them is limits. Now this limit says that it's a resource requirement limit for the container. Okay, so when you create a pod, you basically create a container inside the pod and that limit defines the thing. So how do you define? You define what is the number of CPU core you need. So it's a milli, um, um, two, 200 millicore and then 200, uh, 512 megabyte of the memory. So this is how you define the CPU and um, memory. So imagine that if you have one CPU, that is 1000 millicore. So 200 is the one fifth of the CPU you have taken. Right, so that's how the calculation happens. So if you have, let's say, um, five CPUs and then you take 1000, then it will be like one CPU you have taken. So something like that, you can think from that perspective. And that's what you say limit, right? And then if you define this limit, it basically goes up to that level. But you might need to also specify what is the kind of minimum requirement that is what you define through requests and requests is where you say that what is the minimum cpu you need so if let's say when a pod is getting created if the node doesn't have that capacity available it will not create the pod in that node right so it will go and fetch for another node which has got that capacity available so if you it's like from and to the request is like from and then limit is to so you can be define both of them. So let's see how we can do that. So if I copy this kind of limit, right? And then if I say this and just copy it and I come over here in that and I say K run, that's kubectl run. And I, let's say, create any Nginx and I image Nginx, restart never. And then I say, I want to define limits. And this is where you say that, what is the maximum capacity you might need? So limit with, let's say 5, 12 megabyte. And then let's say I want to go up to 200 millicore. And then the request is where I need to tell what is the minimum requirement, right? So let's put the request here, request, okay? And then here in the request, you say this, and that says the, the CPU, minimum CPU requirement is 100 and memory is 256, okay? And if you just don't create this whole thing, but rather you say dry run equals to client. Okay, and then it will basically um, generates an YAML output. So let's see, see that we generate an YAML output. There show YAML, and then I say pod limit okay so that the file will be created as pod limit yaml dot yaml and once this file is created all right what i can do i can just look into the file and see the yaml definition so if i say vim pod limit So it's slow here at my end so just wait for this thing to get over and then I say YAML. Yeah. 
Now, if you notice here in my screen, I have that um, YAML definition. And in the section where I have got resources, right, it has two sections called limit, and that says what is the CPU and memory. You mentioned it differently in the command prompt through kubectl, but in YAML it generates like that. So if you are handwriting gen YAML, you can put them or you can copy the generated YAML content and put it in your YAML file. Both works the same way. Now this is the YAML file which got created. Now if I say that wq and I say k create minus f and then pod limit.yml and the nginx pod will be created right so you can see that k get pod and then you see that the pod is created the nginx pod on top is created k describe pod nginx you will find the limit definition will also be part of it here so you can see that the limit and the request both are part here so i said 200 in the limit request is 100 512 in the limit request is 256 so anything in between will be leveraged so if our, our node doesn't have that enough memory space or the cpu capacity available it will wait for another node to create the pod if there is no other node available right so the pod will basically be waiting right so you can actually restrict the usage of your container by restricting its um, need right into a boundary and that helps because sometimes some container might eat up all your memory and cpu if you don't explicitly specify that and hence other container might find difficulty running in the same node right so you can check those things out and then um, try to try to build some governance around this by defining the memory and cpu limit and not only the top limit but also the minimum requirement through requests so requests is the minimum requirement and limit is the top most um, allocation for the memory and cpu hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching